2023, the best time ever to be alive, by some metrics, undoubtedly. The best medical technology we've ever had, the best technology we've ever had, the best world in many respects we've ever had, and yet there are some things that have just gone terribly, terribly wrong, at least for some people, even many people, and it's hard to ignore. So when I talk about nostalgia, nostalgia, this weird feeling that sometime back in the day, it was better. Now, normally the process of nostalgia is a slow one. It takes a while. It comes from being out of touch with the current reality you inhabit because your formative years were the years that you were primed for as a young person, as a child, as a young adult. And those are the ones you remember most fondly, vividly, because those are the ones you're most active in. And decades later, you have less and less of that, and then you just lose touch. And so you remember the good old days, little things here and there. That's kind of what nostalgia is, a slow incremental process that most people experience to varying degrees. And it takes a while, usually years, if not decades. Now, I'm going to argue here in this video that what we're experiencing right now in terms of the environment, the culture, everything that's not overtly better than it used to be in terms of medical advances, technology, blah, 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 that the reaction to that, if it's negative, as is the case with me and other people, that's not nostalgia. You know, I'm pushing 50 and the things that I lament most about existence and our quote unquote culture, very little of that is stuff that existed way, way back in the day. But rather something that happened over the course of less than a decade, for the most part, something radical has happened and we have to acknowledge that. And so the reaction to that, especially if it's negative as it is for me and many of you, is not nostalgia. I'm not getting lost in the nostalgia of 10 years ago because 10 years ago, I was still pretty old. In fact, the shift in perception and approval of the culture is just as radical as the shift of the culture itself. And of course, there's an entire cottage industry that has emerged as a result of this huge cultural shift towards far left politics, towards woke culture, towards, you get my drift. There are plenty of channels that exist solely to engage in commentary and exposition on these things. I'm not trying to do that, but I want to talk about something that's truly been lost here, and that is the art of escapism. Now, not everyone engages in video games or watches films or participates in these types of otherworldly activities, as it were, to escape. There are some people that just use that as a compliment to their lives. But for those of us who are not the happiest most go-lucky campers around the block, a big part of entertainment, to be perfectly blunt, to call it what it is, whether it's a video game, whether it's a film, whether it's a series, is escapism. And escapism is only effective if it allows you to escape. And although you can call it nostalgia of a sort, there's nothing gradual about what has happened to the culture. So yes, everything in some objective sense is better now, but so much worse because gentlemen, consider the world we live in now where you can assume based on good probability and based on your own previous experience with the material, whether it's a video game or whether it's a piece of entertainment such as film or television, Netflix series, whatever, you can assume based on previous experience that's probably not going to be good and that it's going to be anything other than entertaining. And it's certainly not going to scratch the itch you have for escapism because despite everything being great in terms of the things I've cited, the technologies, medicine, blah, blah, blah. The obverse side of that coin is that many things are not going well socially, not just for young people, for a lot of people. And so, there's a vacuum that needs to be filled. And although we have more of it than ever before, 
in terms of entertainment, i.e. potential to escape from the grim reality we inhabit, it's typically so bad and so much the opposite of escapism that it only reminds you of the misery that you're currently dwelling in. It's been a very long time since humans have been as disconnected and disassociated from each other as we've become. And we look for compensatory means of dealing with that. And we look for it in entertainment and film and games. And the entertainment just doesn't deliver anymore for the most part because it's so infused with the politics and the culture of the day that has helped to immiserate us to a large degree, not entirely due to politics and culture, but it's a big part of it. That entertainment is just not very entertaining anymore. I think most recently about the game Starfield, which is not a very good game in my opinion, but you see the mainstream just eats it up. It's probably the worst Bethesda single player title to date, and it does anything but allow you to escape because it's not engaging, because it's overly ambitious. There are lots of reasons for this, but it also has its fair injection of woke politics to some degree. It's just low quality. And either people's standards have shifted and we just come to expect low quality, and now low quality is good quality, and horrific quality is average, I don't know, or it's a sign of the times. Those of you who lived through the 2000s to early 2010s know that there was a renaissance of all kinds of entertainment. The first couple seasons of Game of Thrones, there wasn't very much around like that. Of course, I had read the novels in the 90s in terms of games. Now we're just run by corpos. Everything is corporate and corpos just lack souls. And they also buy into the ideology of the day, maybe not in a legitimate fashion, but they certainly pay lip service to it. And so we're all subjected to it. Think about the last thing that came out in terms of games or entertainment that you felt you could legitimately escape to. And every genre has been affected. I don't watch anime. I think I've watched one or two or three in my life, maybe four tops. But I have friends who are very much deeply involved in the anime scene in as much as they've consumed a lot of it. And even there, there's been a huge shift in what has happened. It's been overwhelmed by normies and normie expectations. And this is something that we can observe. When things become mainstream, talked about this before, they become less specific, they become diluted because naturally they have to appeal to a huge majority of people. And the majority of people used to not like that sort of thing. Remember way back in the day, if you were a gamer, as I've said many times, I remember back in the day when being a video gamer was weird. And the brand of games that come out, at least in the mainstream, there are some indie titles, tend to be, well, what you'd expect, run of the mill. And they certainly don't allow you to escape. All the means out there that have been offered to us to maximize escapism are failing us at this current moment in time. And to that, a lot of people say, we well, shouldn't be trying to escape, you should be living life. Many of us have tried to live life. Many people are still trying to live life. But guess what? Sometimes the cookie doesn't crumble in your favor. What do you have left? Little things on the side that potentially you could enjoy. But you can't always enjoy them, especially not now. Whether it's the Wokarati imposing their cultural and political norms upon the entertainment genre, or just plain bare-bones laziness in terms of what people have produced in the entertainment genre, it is a full-on assault against the concept of proper escapism. When I want to escape, I want to go somewhere, maybe spend an entire day on a weekend and not think about anything else and get sucked in. It has been years and years and years since that has happened. Because back in the day, that other thing was better. It was more interesting. It was more entertaining. Now, it just doesn't happen anymore. And it's due to a combination of of the radical cultural shift that is not nostalgia. This is not nostalgia that I'm longing for, that a lot of us are longing for back in the day, with less than a decade, and corporate laziness. And that's the unfortunate reality we're living in. Yeah, young guys are wanking off to porn and playing Call of Duty, but that is bottom of the barrel stuff. There's little of greater quality out there, to be perfectly honest.
And all this is a result of the simple fact of reality that it might be that the technology is better than it's ever been, and we've never had more free time than we do now. But what value is that if psychologically, socially, and culturally, above all culturally, everything is just schlock? There's some value to that, but I would argue it's not entirely offset by what we have on offer here. The reaction and rejection of the current cultural climate is not nostalgia. It is something much more visceral, something that hit us out of the blue just a few years ago. And if you feel alienated and feel you can't escape, believe me, you are not alone. Many, many people, especially men, feel this way. It's an alienating time to be alive. Whether you're 14, 24, 34, 44, or 54, it is a strange time to be alive in the West. And it's just not that fun. Anyway, as always, thank you for tuning in. Many special thanks to my patrons. You guys are the best. You keep the channel going. And equal special thanks to my donors on PayPal. I have immense gratitude for you guys. And if you can engage in the usual YouTube jazz of liking the video, sharing the video, subbing if you're not yet a sub, leaving a comment, blah, blah, blah. Who knows how effective that is? I've heard it around the grapevine that it might be. But until the next time, I will check you out then if I'm still alive. And may the gods watch over you. Bye-bye for now. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content, please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.